Hello, welcome to Life Kids Online. I'm TJ John. I'm JJ Yongshan. Let's start our service with a word of prayer. Dear God, I bless you. I honor you. I ask that you guide me through this morning. In Jesus' name, Amen. Now let's have our worship team to lead us in a time of praise and worship. Awesome praise and worship session we had. Now it's lesson time. Are you ready? Now that we've established the culture of honor through love, let's learn to accept one another, especially when the person may be difficult for us to love or even honor. However, every human is loved by God, and because God loves them, we too should love them. But you know. It is not easy, but let us try and let God help us to accept them. 
So today's Bible passage is in the book of Romans, chapter 15, verse 2 and verses 5 to 7, which the whole main body talks about how we should accept one another, just like how Christ has accepted us in order to bring praise to God. In the New Testament, there are two groups of people, namely the Jews and the Gentiles, and they basically don't like one another. The Jews never liked the Gentiles because they believed that Christianity was only meant for them. However, God has a different thought. To God, God welcomed the Gentiles and eventually Christianity was also meant for them. So when Paul was actually writing the book of Romans, Paul instructs us, everyone, to welcome each other as how Christ has welcomed all of us. So we should start to put that into practice today and understand and accept one another too. As the Bible wants us to accept one another, even though we may dislike them or even though we may not be so fond of them, by accepting them for who they are, we are actually honouring one another. So the question is always why? Why do we need to accept one another or someone who is different from us? Number one, it's because we respect God's creation. God has created us all differently from different personalities, different countries, different cultures, different races, different color, different height, and the list goes on and on. The main point is God has created all of us differently. You and I and your friends and your family, all of us are different. So we should learn how to respect God's creation and know that God has created us beautifully and wonderfully made. Number two is because God loves all of us. God loves us no matter how dark we are, no matter how bright we are, no matter how tall we are, no matter how short we are. So the main point, when God loves all of us as the same, we should also learn how to accept one another just as how Christ has loved us all. By knowing why we have to accept one another, we can move on to the next question on how can we accept one another. The first thing is, getting rid of our own sense of superiority by letting go of our pride, our ego, our arrogance and allowing God's love through the Holy Spirit to fill in our body and to thank God that God has created all of us differently and yet we can portray the love from our body and from our within to the people around us and to truly love them just like how God has loved us all. And number two is to forgive. We have to learn how to forgive like Jesus and learn how to accept one another even though they may not be deserving of it, even though they may not be so close to us that even though we may not really know someone. But by being accepting towards them, we are actually learning how to forgive like how Jesus has forgiven all and yet chose to love us. So for this week's family activity moments, I want all of you to start to close your eyes. Close your eyes and think whether is there a person that you find it hard to accept or you find it hard to like them or you find it hard to actually be friends with them that you may not know why. So by thinking of this person's name, write it down on a paper. And once you are done writing down on that paper, pray for your friend. Pray for whoever this person may be. Pray that the Holy Spirit will help to open your heart to learn how to accept them and make it easy for you in interacting, communicating or even playing with them. If you can, do feel free to also ask your parents if they have also encountered any chance before of learning how to accept another person that they may have found it hard but they eventually managed to. And sometimes for me, I believe that learning how to accept someone starts from within and starts from your mindset. So there's really no one that you cannot break through, but it only requires your first step. I hope you've enjoyed today's lesson and learned something. Now let's close in a word of prayer. Dear God, fill me and change me. Help my heart to once again accept my friends or family that I dislike. Let me love him or her once more. Holy Spirit, be my guide. In Jesus' name, Amen. That's all for today. Goodbye. See you later at 11.30.
We'll see you at 11.30.